that sod father, the sod god, the nitty gritty dirt man. George Toma is a legend on the field. At 92 years young, he is the oldest and longest running groundskeeper at the NFL. Sunday's game, his 55th Super Bowl. I started the first Super Bowl in the Los Angeles Coliseum. In 1967, his very first Super Bowl. Commissioner asked me to do the first Super Bowl, and I asked him, what does he want on the center of the field? What logo? He said, George, whatever you want, you put on. He's been running the field every year since. What's the secret to making sure the field is ready? Well, actually, it started out when I was a young kid in the coal mines of Pennsylvania. You had to work, and work is it. Toma started his career as a groundskeeper in Kansas City in 1957. For Toma, the game begins with good sod. What is sod for folks who, who aren't familiar with it? Well, if you take sod, is grass. The most important part of sod is the soil it's grown on and the root system of it and how it's maintained before you put it in your yard. Like this sod now being grown for 18 months, we put it down, you play on it as soon as you put it down. And there's no defense for low-grade grass. Like I say, the cheapest insurance for an athlete is from the little kid sitting in that kindergarten chair all the way up to the Kelseys and the Mahomes and the Brady. The cheapest insurance is the safe playing field. From there, the real work begins. How long does it take to get the field ready for a Super Bowl? Actually, as far as the grass, with the grass that is ready grown, you put it down, you play on it the same day. But the thing is, you have to put the logos in, in the Super Bowl logos, painting it, the end zones, the sidelines. We painted already three times. With the pandemic, the Super Bowl will be different this year with fewer fans in the stands and heavy precautions. But Toma isn't slowing down. Did someone say, George? You're 92, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Maybe you should sit this one out. I gotta work, I can't sit still. With Kansas City playing hometown favorite Tampa Bay, the Kansas native is impartial. Score prediction on Sunday, who do you like? Chiefs I or, can't say. or Bucks? You I can tell not, me. No. <laughs> you can tell me. No, they're both good teams, but people here say, in your heart, there's a Chief logo someplace, you know what I mean? And off the field, you probably have one heck of a yard yourself in Kansas City, I would imagine. No, I got the worst on the block. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, guys. George Toma is actually in the Football Hall of Fame awesome. in Kent. He is that revered, that wow. respected by members of the National Football League. Uh, and, and oh, by the way, he's not going to even be at the game on Sunday. He's got to leave to get down to uh, South Florida. He also runs the field for the Minnesota Twins spring training camp. Oh, the guy wow. won't stop at 92. Uh, by the way, a special thanks to the Council Grower Sod Farm uh, just outside Tampa for hosting us yesterday. Oh, that's uh, nice. And, and Craig, I have to ask, are, are you getting to stay for the game? No, no, I'm coming back. Oh, I'm I think you're back. coming back. That's right. If I can't watch the game. Yeah, you're not letting the grass grow under your feet. No, oh. that's true. No, no, that's, oh, that yeah. was Well, get back, well played, watch with so, your family. Well we'll, see, we'll see you on Monday, Craig. See you guys. Enjoy the game. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.